met Teresa uh, through our work with Mayworks Festival, and uh, and I think this month, the Sisterhood Festival's month, and uh, here we are in IWD, and with so many political artists in the room, and it's it's, re it's really exciting to have this uh, circle continued and to uh, to have practitioners to work with practitioners who uh, who get the connection between labor and struggle and working class struggle and the role of culture in that. So, thanks for uh, doing so much organizing behind the scenes for this show. Teresa Marshall. Uh, I also want to give uh, acknowledge the, 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 the powerful women organizers that I, I work with every day. April Smith, uh, Eileen Gillette, uh, Honey Mae Caffin, Leanne Payne. Uh, amazing women uh, who, who are putting in thousands and thousands of hours and uh, incredible vision for the W2 project. Yeah. Um, so hey. thank you to all the sisters I'm working with for their work and leadership. And W2, as Teresa mentioned, is this is a, an organization that we're, we're building. It's a collection of downtown Eastside organizations, but also we're reaching out around the city to groups that want to use new media tools to tell our stories. And as you're about to hear from Fabiana, our stories are powerful, they're historically connected, and they're, we're bravely looking at the future, and we're looking at new tools to tell those future stories. The Woodward's building is a huge $320 million development across the street that we really have nothing to do with. However, someone along the way a few years ago said there should be some community benefits in that, in addition to the housing. Uh, so much of that development is a, is a market-oriented space, um, but there's some small nuggets in there that the community will be owning, and W2 is, is a piece of that story. There'll be a TV station, a radio, FM radio station uh, with our, our sisters and brothers from CGSF and Co-op Radio. Uh, there'll be uh, a TV station for all the community TV producers in Vancouver to be using, a cafe, a performance space, gallery, um, and uh, most importantly, a place for us to hang out. And uh, I want to acknowledge all of you for coming today to help us inaugurate this space here. We'll be here for a year. In this building, um, we've got upstairs studios and offices for uh, Aboriginal youth arts groups, uh, media, community media projects upstairs, a printing press right behind the wall here, which is also where the washroom is, by the way, if you're looking for the washroom. <laughs> um, so that printing press is an original Woodward's Heritage Press. Uh, so if you're interested in letterpress work, um, there's about 50,000 pieces of lead type from the old Woodward's printing press that you can play with. Um, so a lot of this is going to be here, getting everybody organized, so please come back, please volunteer, please join uh, W2, and our website is creativetechnology.org. And it's a good way to stay involved with what we're doing this year. Um, so next year, uh, in the fall, actually, sorry, in the fall of this year, we'll be moving across the street, and it, it, we're still trying to raise, um, we have a $2.6 million capital campaign, and, and, and we're lobbying Ellen and, and the the city councillors to to do the right thing of finishing the community legacy for Woodward's, because right now it's quite uh, unclear uh, whether we can finish that building, the heritage building across the street, and help W2 with some seed funding so we can actually pull this project off so that we have a people's cultural centre and a people's media centre 30 years from now, and to really make the Woodward's legacy a genuine one. So let's hope that happens. Now this is today also um, a Munch event, and Munch is something that we do for the Downtown Eastside Community Arts Network, because as Teresa said, there's very much a, a, a history in all the jurisdictions across North America and Europe around gentrification and the role of artists in greasing the wheels for the market, uh, and stormtroopers of gentrification. So what, we're, what we've been looking at around the world is trying to find models where artists play an active role, and the Downtown Eastside Community Arts Network was set up for that, to inter interject in this market uh, play that's happening and um, our organization um, we hook up with artists in the downtown side who care about the neighborhood who want to uh, make an impact and negotiate and uh, critique and fight and and have some victories um, we looked around the world and one of the projects we learned about was this, this space in Oakland called the Eastside Arts Alliance which is similar to our project so it's very exciting for us two years later to actually have you in our in our space uh, Fabiana, and to, to tell that story firsthand. So I'll give it back to Teresa, and, um, and then we'll hear from Fabiana. Yay! All right.